welcome back to the channel it is Tuesday now so hopefully I'm gonna fit like I'm in the process of finishing the video I'm supposed to be posting tonight um, <laughs> I just got home from work a little tired today I'm gonna be honest I it's probably just fatigue because I did longer bike long run strength and short run so that was like the last three days um, so today I'm actually taking it easy. I'm shifting a couple things around to do my easy bike today. And then my swim tomorrow morning, it depends on how my swim goes tomorrow morning, whether I'm going to do, actually, I think tomorrow I'll end up doing my hour bike. I was going to do tonight just based on how the rest of the week plans that plays out, because I think that'll work best with, I can do the hour ride tomorrow afternoon. And then Thursday, I'm supposed to strength train and run. Friday I'll swim and that'll give me kind of like the rest of the day Friday to recover and then Saturday I bike two hours so I think that's what I'm gonna do honestly like I'm tired today I'm not feeling it I'm gonna get my ride in I'm hungry so I'm gonna eat dinner before I ride that's not like usually I finish working and I ride and then I eat I think it's important night that I eat before because otherwise I just feel like I'm gonna feel not good I that's why I'm not doing intervals today it's just I do not feel I don't feel like I have any energy my work day was actually easy maybe there's like 20 hours of work I'm supposed to be doing and I just don't realize it but my work day felt easy today so I'm just gonna go with it and I am working from home tomorrow because the treadmill is supposed to be delivered so hopefully the treadmill comes in I'm going to eat my half of a frozen pizza and I already went ahead and put air in my bike tire. I need to start towels for some precious more so I've started laundry. I am actually wearing my clothes to bike underneath this sweatshirt. It is just cold in my house so I wanted to be comfortable while I ate. So that's it right now. Hoping I can show you a treadmill tomorrow but I'm not counting on it at this point. Um, treadmill and maybe some of the new like some of the stuff i'm adding into my strength training on thursday those would be nice things to be able to show off so hoping everything kind of the rest of the week improves just because today not feeling anything today honestly consider just not doing anything today but i felt like that would push too many workouts into the back half of the week so i figured it was best to do some easy movement active recovery today to free up that extra recovery on Friday and then it'll just mean swimming and biking tomorrow. Good thing is I recover very quickly from swimming because I've been doing it for so long. So I don't feel like doing my swim tomorrow plus an interval bike ride is going to be too much. If I thought it possibly would be, I would probably, I don't know what I would do. I would honestly probably have to give up something this week and it might be Friday. Like, Maybe Friday swim because then I could do bike intervals Thursday, run Friday. But that just wouldn't work out either. Like, I feel like it'd be putting too much intensity at the end of the week. So I think tomorrow definitely needs to be bike intervals. I'm going to stop talking. I am rambling. I'm probably making no sense right now. Um, hopefully once I have food, I'll make sense again. Okay, welcome back. It is Wednesday. This week is dragging on. I have not posted Tuesday's video. I am going to hopefully edit it tomorrow, which is Thursday. Basically, my camera's crooked. I'm not fixing it today. It's, it has not been a good day is the best way to put it. Um, and nothing bad happened. Just my treadmill still didn't show up. I didn't eat great today. And... I think most people can notice this when you don't eat as well. Like sometimes you just kind of feel not good, like no motivation, didn't really want to do anything, struggling to get work done, just like did not feel good because of it. So there was that aspect of it. Tried to call the shipping company again. They said my shipment for my treadmill wasn't even scheduled today after I'd called them last week and they rescheduled it after the fifth phone call. Supposedly they elevated it and there's and somebody's supposed to contact me because they're whoever I talked to is a third party. I don't know. 
So then I called Nordic Track, talked to somebody who really didn't seem to care about my frustration or the fact that I, it's been a week, I've called six times to their shipping company and that's after I got disconnected twice while sitting on hold with them. So they said I should be contacted within two days to reschedule. I almost just want to cancel the order at this point because, and find a treadmill somewhere else because it's getting so frustrating. So there was that part of my day. I was really close to just taking the day off. Like I just did not feel mentally all here today is the best way to describe it. And I had, I did go downstairs and check outside my garage to make sure like they didn't deliver it and just like drop it because I paid for the delivery where like they'll assemble it. Um, just because it's like over a 200 pound box. How am I alone supposed to unpack and assemble that? So I did go down to my garage and double check that. And like, I think the cold air kind of helped like, I don't know, like mentally stimulate me to where I felt like I could function. Um, and then I ran Crossed the street to get my mail. IRS sent me a letter that said, hey, we owed you money. We didn't give it to you. You can claim it on your taxes. So that was fun. After I mailed them a check, like I returned my stimulus check because I couldn't cash it back in April. Um, I hope that people that really needed them did not run into the issues I had with it because I know personally just from work how tough it is to get to a person with the IRS. Um, it also said that like they owed me zero dollars, which was weird. Um, might try and call them, but again, how am I gonna get through to somebody at the IRS? I don't know. Um, so that is my day. It is 7.59, which means I need to now stay away from screens and get some sleep. Oh, and I was potentially, so my mom had to get a COVID test because of a doctor's appointment and she tested negative, but there was a chance it was going to come back. Like they'd seen a test result that made them think like, oh, you could have COVID. So she had to go to get a COVID test. I'd been up with them the whole weekend. And so I today couldn't swim because I had to wait and find out that no, she does not have COVID, which means I don't. Always good news. I figure I'll get it at some point. I just don't really want to be sick. I mean, being sick just, it's frustrating and it'll mean not going into my office and I get more done when I'm there and it'll mean not feeling good. And who just, who doesn't want to feel good when they're in the middle of their busiest time of year? So... There's that, and so I think just kind of the combination of all of that, today was not a good day, but I got in an hour and four minutes on my bike. According to Zwift, it was about 17 miles, if I remember right. Um, so overall it was good. I did like, I did the loop that you go through the desert and then you go up the Titans Grove KOM. It's like, I think it's my favorite route on Zwift at this point because the Titans Grove KOM, like it's long enough that like it's a good climb, but it's not so long that like, I guess it's not so long that I hate it. Um, and it's not that I hate the other ones. Like I've done, I do the box hill climb a lot and I think that one's a great one for training. I just because I don't do a ton of long climbs when I'm out training and I'm trying, like if I'm training outside and I'm trying to do more on Zwift to be, be a better climber, it's just frustrating sometimes because I'm usually one of the slowest and I'm going right now based off estimated power zones. So like when I'm doing intervals and it was like four times, eight minutes in zone three, three minutes in zone one, <laughs> those three minutes in zone one are really slow usually. Um, and when I do similar intervals on other routes where I'm going uphill during my recovery, again, really slow, a little bit frustrating, but I do feel like I'm getting some fitness. So that's always good. Um, feel like I can spend more time in the aero bars. So that's also good. And I'm going to stop talking since I have no treadmill that really messes up tomorrow's workouts. Cause I was hoping to run in the morning before going to my office. 
So I will be running in the afternoon after work and I'll probably just stay at the office to do my strength workout tomorrow night. Um, so I'll just stay like work out at my office gym for two hours almost. Cause that just seems like the best way to go about things. Um, and then I might have to come home and work a little. So I'm going to see how the rest of this week goes tomorrow. I do have free lunch at the office at least. So that'll be good. And my cats will go cuddle with me while I read my book. My cat Stannis likes to likes when we read books at night. I posted a picture of him on Instagram. He just sits in my lap and he, it is just like he is so happy. And the funny thing is about Stannis, when I got him with my ex-husband, he was kind of cuddly as a kitten sometimes, but then he hit like teenage boy cat stage where like he never really sat with people. And my ex swore that Stannis liked him better. And I'm like, no, I just think like, Stannis has like his own schedule or Stannis got used to my ex's schedule that my ex would be up at like weird times in the middle of the night and so Stannis would sit with him. But now it makes me so happy that every single night when I go sit down to read my book, Stannis sits with me and purrs and he is so happy. So yeah, I'm just really happy that Stannis and I are buddies now. And that's my refrigerator scaring me by the ice maker making noise. So I'm gonna go upstairs take a quick shower so that I do not sleep in all this sweat and read a book. I have started a new book because I finished in the last three weeks since I've been reading at night. I have finished four books now and I'm really proud of that because for a very long time I did not read like for pleasure at all aside from vacation. So I'm really happy with that too. All right, I will stop talking and actually do what I'm gonna, what I keep saying I'm going to now. Okay, I just got home. Sorry, I'm eating while I talk. It took me an hour to get home, maybe more, because I'm cat. There was an accident on the interstate. I'm eating chocolate caramels right now because I ran for an hour after work. I thought, oh, it'll take me 40, like 30, 40 minutes at the most to get home. I, it may have taken me more than an hour, honestly, but problem being, I need to keep snacks in my car now. My blood sugar dropped a ton since I left my office. And so now I'm on, in my car, almost home, getting, feeling really uncomfortable, really nauseous, not feeling good. Picked the caramels because they're like pure sugar to get my sugar up really quick. And then I can cook dinner. I need to clean cat litter boxes. Run went really good. Like, I feel like my endurance is back. I might be running really slow, but my endurance is up and it actually feels so good. This is the first time in ages I've been like, oh my gosh, I feel good running. I don't care that I'm running like super slow. It's just really nice to like, just feel like, okay, like I've got endurance again. It's definitely a weird feeling. Also, YouTube's probably the only reason I rode my bike yesterday. Really wasn't feeling it. I'm gonna stop talking because I've gotta pet this cat. So, <laughs> of course, right as I start to talk, my cat is like going after the camera. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get the cat's attention. Um, so, I got some food. It was good food. I ate half a pizza and some ice cream. And by half a pizza, I mean like half of a frozen pizza. So I buy my frozen pizzas based on ones that I feel like the calorie content is about one meal for half of the pizza. So usually that's the white pizza from California Pizza Kitchen or it's the, I found this like eggplant, um, buffalo mozzarella flatbread. It's the Kroger private selection brand. I really like it. I was looking at that pizza like I could have eaten that whole thing tonight. Like, I am sitting here. One, I need to be going to bed. I have not done well with stretching or... This is the first night I haven't read anything before going to bed. Sorry, cat. I love this cat, though. I've had her for almost a year now. This is my baby cat. She is actually an evil baby goat sometimes because she likes to chew on cardboard. Uh, sorry, just the cat's being really cute, so I gotta pay attention. And that's my old man cat. Um, they're all very good cats. So that was dinner. 
I have swim practice in the morning. I didn't get to swim on Wednesday. That was disappointing. So I got a call. Actually, I may have already talked about this. So sometimes because I film over multiple days, because my life's not that interesting. I mean, if you really want to see a whole day in my life, I can take you to work with me. But I don't think you want to. But basically, I didn't swim Wednesday because of a chance of COVID exposure. If I didn't already explain it, it's because someone in my family that I was with last weekend was told they might have COVID. They had to get tested. They tested negative. I think I already told you this. So, didn't swim on Wednesday. Good thing was I did get in my bike ride last night. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's only Thursday right now. Um, so, I did get in my bike ride last night, which was good. It, and then... The plan now is I swim tomorrow, and I'm really happy to get in the pool tomorrow, and then um, just long workouts for this weekend. I've got two-hour ride Saturday and another hour-and-a-half run on Sunday, but that one, so the Sunday run is actually a lot more like today's run, so it's intervals, and it has like alternating, that one's only like alternating zone two, zone one, so like it's a long run, but it'll actually be a lower effort than my one last weekend. And so I'm trying and I'll do like I'm planning when I get a chance to actually film a bit of how I'm planning my weeks right now until my new training plan kicks in in a couple weeks. So that's where I am for the next couple of days. I'm also going to strength train tomorrow night. So I will try to film some of my new plyometrics that I'm adding into my strength workouts and I'm just really, like I, like I said earlier, my endurance is up. Like I, this last week, I've just really had workouts where I finally kind of feel like, okay, like I actually am a triathlete. Like I kind of know what I'm doing. And since I'm finally having that happen again, I just, I feel like I can get speed work in now. Like six miles, okay, like. Not all the way up to 13 yet, but that's more than I ran before my first half iron, so I'm sure I'll be fine. And same with biking. Like, I'm running two hours on my trainer, and while you do get a little bit, like, with being on Zwift, I will say it's actually a little bit easier maybe than, like, when I used to ride my dumb trainer because I do get downhills, but I guess I could compare, like, the downhill to if I shifted down then. So... Yeah, like, I feel like I'm in a really good spot, and it's honestly the first time in a long time I felt like I'm in a good spot. I am going to hopefully this weekend sit down and film a, I have two sit-down videos I want to film right now. I want to film one just talking about, like, my path, like, to and through triathlon, and then I would also like to, and I think I mentioned this before, I would like to do a little bit of filming about just kind of some things everybody should know about their bike. Because when I first started riding road bikes, I didn't know what I was doing other than like you pedal and you shift. So that's where things are. I like filming on my couch better than, I don't know. I think sometimes it's more comfortable to film on my couch than filming at my kitchen island. I think the cats don't like it no matter what because I'm not paying attention to them. So I'll stop talking and go to bed. To talk about the way I set up my week of training, excuse the beeping sound if you hear it. There is a lot of construction directly by my house because my neighborhood is still being built and it is tough to find times when there is not noise because there is also blasting going on down the road and so sometimes the whole house shakes and freaks me out for a second. Uh, so I want to talk about how I put my week together. So I put this together. This is next week. And so I think I mentioned before I was doing an 80-20 triathlon plan that I bought through Training Peaks. It was a 12-week plan that ended. I think this past week was the first week I've had since that plan ended. Overall, I really like it. It definitely did not go perfectly, but that is just kind of to be expected when – Especially for me when I'm getting back in shape and I really have to rebuild habits and kind of rebuild like how focused I used to be. So if you look at this, you'll see it's 8 hours and 47 minutes that I have planned this week in the end that 
I'm just finishing up will probably be about seven and a half in total because I did miss my swim workouts thanks to a combination of potential COVID exposure and taking an extra rest day when I felt I needed it yesterday. So next week, and I am going to flip these two swims. So this one was really won't make actually that much of a difference for me when I do them because I do go to master's practice. So the typical master's practices I go to are Monday one. I misread the days of the week. Are Monday once or are Wednesday and Friday? I used to go to Mondays, but that practice there's no longer a 5 a.m. practice. There's only practice at 6:30. So. I go to 5 a.m. on Wednesdays and Fridays, and then there's 6 a.m. practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that is how I am fitting in this third swim next week. Typically, I would either do that on Thursday or on or on Tuesday, Thursday, or Sunday afternoon. So I want to make sure I get in at least three swims. So that's why Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, I have planned to swim. I also try to plan around my work schedule and when I will be in my office. So next week, my plan, just because I have a lot of trainings to attend and meetings, is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I will be in my office. My office is downtown, so it is actually not that far from where I swim, so I'll go directly from the pool to my office on those days. That also works out because I have zero faith that my treadmill will ever get to me. So it also works out for that Thursday run. I can do that on the treadmill at the office. Same with the Monday run I can do on the treadmill at the office and both strength workouts I can do there as well. As far as cycling, I aim for three bike rides a week. You can tell right now, one of them is mostly easy. So I am doing a Tuesday is my kind of harder interval ride. Friday is more of an easy recovery ride. And then Saturday I have my longer ride. I am alternating right now. I did two hours this week. I'm going to do an hour, half, an hour and a half next Saturday. I did an hour and a half last Saturday. So kind of alternating there a little bit right now. Um, just kind of trying to maintain fitness and build a little bit more. Today actually felt really good. Then the running, so again, planning to be able to use the treadmill, easy run, interval run, so this is where more of the focus is, um, and so you can tell those key workouts are on Tuesday and Thursday for running, and that does leave a day in between them as well as a day in between those key workouts and my longer key workouts on the weekend. So that's just kind of how I built the week. I also looked at the total amount of time. I think I've got about nine and a half hours on the first week of the new training plan I start. I did get an 80-20 triathlon 70.3 plan that starts in a couple weeks. That is 21 weeks, if I remember correctly. So this is just kind of where I am for right now. And then I will start following that plan. I do usually have to modify some things because, like, say, Wednesday... I So this week, actually, if I wanted to do an afternoon workout, I could, but usually on Wednesdays, I have dinner with my grandma after work, so I do not have time to an afternoon workout. That is kind of like, um, let's see, Saturdays, I'm not going to do anything else because, well, one, that's a long ride, but I also know I'm going to need to work on Saturday next weekend probably. So I do try and plan around other commitments I have because I don't want to feel like I have to give up everything else because of triathlon, same as I don't want to give up everything else because of work. So that overall is just kind of how I plan my week. These are a variety of workouts I took from the 80-20 plan just to fit in what I want to work on next week. All right, we're getting going way later than I plan on riding today. It's like 11 a.m. now. I plan to start like early this morning. But I wanted to go get breakfast, and yeah, I just didn't want to ride early this morning. I don't have more, much work to do today, so it didn't really matter if I got started early. So here's the setup for today. We've got Zwift. We've got electrolytes, because I felt like after that hour and a half last weekend, I needed them. We do not have a heart rate monitor on still. I've been using power, and it's actually worked really well. Um, 
probably go back to heart rate like when my training plan starts in two weeks. I think I have two more weeks of whatever I want to do. Um, and I think the clip of me play, like planning next week should play before this. Um, I have one gel. I don't think I should do more gels. Um, I'm not doing very good holding the camera right now. But I did take my route already because I have not done any of the, the France routes. So picked my route already. I get 480 points for this route. Um, so I'm going to get started because it is 10.57. I am in a shadow. Um, there's windows right there and I'm not moving because I'm leaning against the couch and it's really the only thing holding me up right now is this couch. So I got through my two hours. Um, it was three times 20 minutes at race pace. So it was good. I chose a route in France that was like pretty flat. It had some rollers, so I only did like 900 feet of climbing on it. Um, and then I ended up, I always ride until like I had an even number mile or like an even round mile number. So I rode to the 35 mile marker, which is the longest like distance wise I think I've ever ridden on Zwift. So that's exciting. I need to take a shower. So I'm about to go do that. Apparently I gotta pet the cat. Something about like when I stop working and sit in my bedroom or if like I get off my bike and sit here or I come home and sit here, the cat decides, this cat right here, you can't really see her cause she's black and we're also in a shadow. Um, she decides it's time for me to pet her. So I'm gonna pet her and I'm going to end the video here. Sorry, it has not been, these last two video vlogs have not been very exciting. Um, I was gonna film strength training. So yeah, I did wanna talk about, so I ended up taking a rest day yesterday and I had not planned it that way. Oh my God, I get really sore in my right trap from riding on the trainer um, and riding on my tri bike. So I ended up taking a rest day yesterday I had noticed earlier this week my heart rate, like my resting heart rate's been a little elevated. It is usually around 51. It was up to 56 on Thursday. Um, I don't know how much of a variance is high, but I feel like five beats per minute is pretty high. Um, and so then I was really tired when I woke up yesterday morning, like just could not like I'd fallen asleep really easily Thursday even though I kind of neglected like my nighttime routine and then was just exhausted yesterday morning got through my work day I thought about just doing yoga instead of strength training and then I ended up just ordering Greek food um, I had a falafel sandwich and I've got some pita and hummus I'm actually about to go eat once I shower um, I ended up ordering Greek food for dinner and just kind of relaxing with the cat I watched a bad show on Netflix um, it's the new Kristen Bell one that I wanted to like, I think just because I like her, um, and it was not good. So that was yesterday. It was an unplanned rest day, but I hadn't taken a rest day at all this week. So, I mean, it's fine. doesn't make any difference to me. Um, tomorrow's a long run day. So I do want to go ahead and end the video there because I don't want to make it too long. And I do have like... A couple like sit down videos I'm gonna film this week and then I also do want to point out I did actually finally finally make a blog post for once again um, just talking about my race season how I know I previously kind of talked on there about how I pick a race um, so just talking about how I've picked the three races that are on my schedule currently I will leave links in the description box below both to the post about my current race season as well as how I chose my races. So I will end the video there. If you liked this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future vlogs.